In this video, I'm going to talk about having an eBay business account or having an eBay private account, because I see this question all the time in the comments as well. So I'm going to explain each and everything in this particular video. If you watch this video, you will have all the question answered. For example, can you start as a private account and then you will open as a business account? And then there is an assumption among people that if they will have a private account, then they don't need to inform anything about it to the HMRC. Or if they have a business account, then they do need to do some kind of business registration, all that kind of stuff as well. My name is Zen Shah. On this channel, I talk about how to realistically make money online from the platform like eBay, Amazon, and Shopify. So if you are first time here, consider subscribing. And if you will still have any questions by the end of the video, I reply to each and every comment. So feel free to ask me any question inside the comment. I encourage you to ask the question because no question is big and small. So nobody gonna judge you right here. The assumption among people is actually that being a business account seller is being a big seller. And if you have a private account, then you are a small seller. And the second assumption among people is if you have a private account, then you don't need to register your business and say something to HMRC. And if you are a business account, then you have to do some kind of registration with HMRC as well. So I'm going to explain each and everything. So according to eBay terms and condition, if you are somebody who don't sell on a regular basis, doesn't matter you sell your used item or a new item or whatever if you don't sell on a regular basis then you can have a private account let's say you are only using an ebay account to sell the mobile phone that you are no longer using or something which is just lying around inside your house just taking a space inside the cabinet and you just sell probably one two three four items in the month as well so for that one you can have a private account which is absolutely Absolutely fine. But as soon if your attention is to actually sell on a regular basis, regardless how many of those you're gonna sell, or regardless the condition of those items as well. So even if they are new item or old item, or even if it is a one item or hundred item, doesn't matter. If your attention is once you are buying something is to resell that particular item regardless of the condition of the item and regardless the quantity of the item if your attention is to resell it for a profit then you need to have a business account period doesn't matter you are uh, just starting out or doesn't matter you are somebody who is an established seller to summarize all the things is just if your attention is to buy something and then you are using it, that particular item for yourself and later down you decide, okay, I'm, I no longer need this item. I'm just going to sell it. That considered as a private sale. But if you have bought something, regardless if it's one item, two item, or regardless it's a used item or a new item, if your attention is to resell, make profit out of it, you need a business account for that one. So that's the thing as far the eBay terms and condition go. Now let's talk about HMRC because people think that if they have a private account, they don't need to do any kind of business registration. If they have a business account, then they are legally responsible to register their business. So HMRC allow you to do the sale up until thousand pounds. So if it will go over 1000, then you need to declare that income to HMRC. If it's under 1000, then you don't need to declare that income to HMRC. So for example, I sold this mobile phone and uh, this phone, I bought it for me to use it for myself. Even this phone, I sell it for 1200 pound that's still considered as a private sale so i don't need to really declare that income but when it comes to if i buy this food and my attention is to actually resell it then this considered as a business so as soon as i will cross the thousand figure so then you need to inform the hmrc and the way to go about it is to call them 
and then you get a number which is called UTR number. If you are working somewhere, you get a national insurance number and your tax will be deducted on your national insurance number. If you are self-employed, you will get UTR number which is called unique tax reference number. So as a self-employed person, you do send your tax return at the end of financial year which normally ends in the April of a month. So financial year is considered as April to April. So whatever the money that you will make, let's say in financial year 2022 and 2023, which started in the April of 2022, and it's going to end in the April of 2023, whatever the money you're going to make during this period of time, you're going to declare after April 2023, and you will pay tax on that before January 2024. That's how the self-employed tax declaration and each and everything work. A lot of people, they just go as a sole trader. They just call HMRC, get the UTR number, and whatever the money they will make, they will just declare that and they will, pax, they will pay 20% income tax and roughly 9% national insurance number. It's the same tax as you normally probably are paying when you are, once you are working somewhere. But the only difference is once you are working somewhere, your tax will automatically get deducted. Once you're self-employed, you will have to do the tax return by yourself. So what I normally recommend is having an accountant. So accountant is something Somebody who will do all the work for you at the end of day so you don't have to worry about the tax return you don't have to worry about bookkeeping so what i personally use is a company called awesome and they can help you with the company registration they can explain you each and everything in the terms of your compliance and tax responsibilities so if you're somebody who is even looking to start selling on ebay and amazon or if you are an established seller I will leave the link for awesome inside the description. By using that link, you will get a hundred pound off and you will get two months of free accounting as well. So the link for everything I will mention is will be inside the description. It is normally a good idea to speak to your accountant when it comes to like a tax side of the things as well, because these are the things that are, you shouldn't be listening to somebody over the internet at the end of the day, because these are the things that you really have to keep in mind. And the next thing a lot of people ask me, like, can I start as a private seller and then if the business will work, let's say that, and then I can upgrade my account to a business account. This is just going to depend on what you are going to be selling. So if you open your private account and then you list something on eBay that you probably didn't buy it to resell it on the first place, then you're okay. If you are keep on listing the item which used to be your own property, then that's absolutely fine. But if you starting out, even you are a small seller, you are buying the item just based on the intention that you're going to resell this item, then you need a business account. As far as the HMRC is concerned, you will still have to declare that income if you will cross the thousand pound threshold because it doesn't really matter either you earn that money through a private account or you earn that money through a business account. That only got to do with eBay terms and condition. So I think that's really clear each and everything. If you don't know what products to sell, I will link one video right here, which will help you to do your product research. Make sure you check that out.